Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, May 9th, 2020, week number 75 in our keto journey. Woohoo, good job. Yeah, got that right. <laughs> no editing, even. <laughs> That's an accomplishment today. Yeah, so last week I was 326.6. And this morning I was 325.6, so I'm down one pound. Um, I'll take the one pound. What I did different this week was I started to cut out artificial sweeteners. Um, I realized that there were quite a few things that I have that have a little bit of something in it. Everything from monk fruit to some sucralose to, to aspartame and some of the drinks like Crystal Light and stuff. Um, so I thought, let's cut all those out. Even though they didn't seem to be affecting my blood sugar on a pre and a post check, um, there were a couple comments in, in a video from Dr. Barry expressing that it can raise your insulin, which I've been fighting with my sugars. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know what, let's try an experiment for a week here of not doing any of that as much as possible and see where it puts me. I did goof up once when you made the keto whipped cream because I think that had a uh, swerve in it, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. And I didn't realize that. But... Um, but yeah, overall, so I think I'm going to stick with that. When I do my coffee, I'm not putting anything in it at all now. Just black coffee. Just trying to get things stripped down to basic. See if I can start getting the numbers down. And here is the better part than the one pound loss. When I've been doing my morning blood sugars, I'm noticing a drop. I was in the 180s to 210 range and I was getting a little bit nervous thinking, shoot, I'm going to have to go back on medicine, um, you know, higher up or something. And uh, I've, I've had a couple 150s and 160s. So I'm seeing a difference there. Yeah. Even if I don't see a huge difference on the scale yet. Uh, and here's the other key thing. I have the little keto scan meter. And um, I think I was going back far as, as November. And I was getting like a 1.6. And these are really low numbers for a keto scan. You want to be like 5 and above. Uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. I was just a couple days in and I wanted to give it a quick check and I was 3.7. So it seems like I'm starting to get back more into the lower end of ketosis, which is fine. It's, you know, get me higher. Yeah. I'll keep checking that. I'll keep doing it and I'll keep checking the sugars, of course. And, and that's my ultimate goal. And if I can get those to come more in line the way they're supposed to be, the weight should come off easier. Yeah. So... You know, I'm encouraged by it. So thank you, Donna, for the recommendation to check out Dr. Barry's video. And I did. And I'll, I'll even link it in the description. Um, great video on our artificial sweeteners. Even if your sugar is not affected, it can raise your insulin is what he's saying. So by that theory, I'm still giving it another week of that. I'm going to continue that, yeah. that process Good of uh, cutting out the artificial sweeteners. No diet pop, no crystal light. Those were, you know, it was always drinks. It was always something with a drink. It was something with my coffee. It was something with a little crystal light versus water or, yeah. you know, diet pop with dinner or something. And um, I'm just cutting all those out to see if that's going to make a difference. I yes. guess time will be our tell. But uh, I, so far, after a week, I'm pretty happy with the progress. That's awesome. Good yeah. job. So, down a pound this week. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> Last week I weighed in at 138. Today I weighed in at 137.6. So I'm down the 0.4, okay. but I was up 0.4 last week. Cool. <laughs> so um, got to get back on it. It's uh, I need to get physical again. I need to get out and get moving. And um, I'm starting to change positions at work a little bit. So I've been out and doing more steps. I was so excited. I got. Almost 17,000 steps the other day. Yeah, and her, <laughs> her average used to be in the 20s, and then yeah. now it's been like under 10. It's been under 5. Under 5, because you're just stuck in one spot all day. Yep. Yeah, and now you're back to moving around. Moving around, around a little bit more, so that'll be nice. Um, get these extra few pounds off. and. I'm averaging about 6,500 to 8,000 steps a day. So yeah. I'd like to see maybe go up a little bit more. Yeah, Maybe. it's pretty good though. I'm, I, I think they say on average you should be, well, on average, if there is an average, that 10,000 would be your goal. Right. So maybe mm -hmm. I'll up my goal to 8,500. Yeah. I think it's set at 7,500. You can do it. No, 7,000 right now is my goal. So maybe I'll up it to 8,500 so that I'll get the little reward on my Fitbit telling <laughs> me, hey, you did a great job. 
you know, Yay. but I'll up it to like 8,500. So yeah. I got something to work towards. That would yeah. be a good thing. Can't hurt. It, well, not today in Michigan. It's freezing. We had frost last night. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, it's almost bike time. It is almost bike time. We ended up planting some boxwood uh, little bushes. And, of course, we got a frost advisory. So we have buckets over them right now. Just trying to keep them alive. So We're trying but, to make the front of the house look pretty. And then this dang Michigan weather. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also had... Um, not just the frost warnings, but I just turned our sprinkler system back on, so I hope nothing gets frozen from that. <laughs> There's always something in Michigan. Yeah. And it was just like almost 70 degrees the other day. Yeah, we were having a really good day, so we were <laughs> feeling confident. Costco got some nice azaleas and some boxwood yeah. little bushes, so we bought a little bit to put in front because four years now we haven't had anything in our house, in front of our house at all. So we thought, oh, let's actually put a little something out there this time. We had a bunch of Go hostas, figure. which I love hostas, but they were all different kinds and not a pattern. Not and they were a snake pit. <laughs> yes, I don't like snakes, and we have enough snakes out here with the marshland behind us. I see lots of snakes, so yes, we do. My thing is, is once I see a snake, I'm done with grass. Nope, you gotta finish. Nope, nope, you gotta finish the grass. Now we're riding mower, but one of them is kind of. We'll go towards you instead of running from you. He comes towards you. It's scary. Hmm. I don't like snakes. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, we got to get Stacy off to work. It's 7 o'clock now. Um, her schedule is going to be changing soon. Yeah. Her hours. So we won't have to get up at quarter to 6, 6 o'clock in the morning to get these things done. Uh, you'll we be go more, to bed late. You'll be more like 10 to 6 is right. Yeah. So we, we don't have to get up at the crack of dawn to do a Saturday morning video. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be nice. <laughs> so, I hope you're all having a great week. If you're still sticking with keto, I hope things are going well for you. And uh, we've been able to be lucky to find some chicken and some ground beef lately. So, we're actually feeling pretty good. We made some hamburgers last week. They were really good. Yeah. Stacy made some. They were awesome. Yes. So, take care. Stay keto if you're doing keto. And mm. uh, we'll hopefully see you soon. Trust the process. Trust it. See you soon. Bye. Bye.